Iran's President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad has also rejected the peace talks during a, peace, uh, during a speech to mark Al-Quds Day, an annual show of solidarity with the Palestinian people. It is clear that these negotiations are doomed. In fact, these negotiations are still born. The Palestinians and the regional nations will not allow even one piece of Palestine to be sold to the enemies. The nations of the region are able to eliminate the Zionist regime from the face of the earth. Well, during the demonstration in Tehran, he also called on the Palestinians to continue to struggle for their rights. That rally took place allegedly without a key opposition leader. Mehdi Karoubi said on his website he was prevented from attending the march. Well, it said the Revolutionary Guard had surrounded his house in Tehran. That follows reports of an earlier attack when mobs allegedly smashed windows and beat up a member of his security team. Potkin Azarmer is an Iranian blogger. He says the authorities' harsh response reflects their continued fear of the opposition. This isn't the first time that Karubi's house has been attacked, uh, but the difference is that this time it wasn't just with sticks and stones and, uh, um, and thugs writing graffiti on his house. Uh, this time they went for an all attack, uh, they were shooting at the house. Uh, five, since five days ago, Karubi's house has been surrounded uh, by the Basij and by the security forces after he announced that he will be taking part in the uh, uh, annual Al Ghuts Day, the uh, Jerusalem Day, which was, uh, as you said, hijacked by the Green protesters last year. This would have given a focal point to the, uh, to the Green movement for them to, to appear wherever Karubi is going. And this is uh, why they wanted to uh, prevent this. So the house was surrounded and then last night uh, they're really going for him.